Hey guys, welcome to my channel. From today, I will show you how to crochet this Christmas bouquet, including how to crochet the flowers and the other leaves here, and how to wrap the bouquet. In this bouquet, I choose the Gabriel flower as the main flower. Then I added two rows in Christmas color. This one is the ping pong flower. I've already done the tutorial before. These two fluffy ones are another type of uh, ping pong flower. I will show you next week. In today's video, I will show you how to do the holly leaves and the berries. In the future, I will also show you how to arrange these leaves into a Christmas wreath. In this bouquet, I will use these two branches as the greenery, which means the leaves in our bouquet. If you are new here, I'm sharing easy crochet tutorials every week. Please subscribe and turn on notification. Don't forget to tag me on ins when finished. Now let's begin. These are materials we'll be using. For one branch, we need 8 leaves and 17 berries. In this photo here, I did 3 small leaves, 5 large leaves. You can also do 8 small, any way you like. Maybe also try leaves only, with no berries. Here we start with our small leaves. We find green yarn and start with a slip knot. So this is our slip knot. Do not count this as a stitch. Then we do 19 chains. You can now pause here to finish 19. Here we got 19 chains. We will then find the second stitch from the hook and work one single crochet. Now another single crochet next. Then we do one half double crochet in each of the next two spaces. Now our second half double crochet. After that, two double crochet in the next two spaces. In this way, we are gradually increasing the head of our stitches. From here, we do one triple crochet in each space and we do six of them. Here, we yarn over and pull through three times. Now, our second triple crochet. You can pause here to do four more triple crochet. Here we finish the 6th triple crochet, we continue to do 2 double crochet in the next 2 spaces. Then 2 half double crochet. We got two spaces left. We first do one single crochet next. Finally, in the last stitch, we do three single crochet. Here we move to the other side and do the same pattern. So we firstly find the first stitch of this side and do a single crochet. While moving on, we need to head the tail. Then we do two half double crochet in the next two spaces. So we are repeating the same pattern as the other side. Now you can pause here to finish this side. Here we come to the end of round 1, we do a slip stitch through the first space to close this round. Before moving on, we will add a piece of craft wear to support our leaf. Here we chain 1 as a turning chain, do not count as a stitch. 
Then we do one single crochet in each of the first three spaces. In the next space, we finish everything between the square brackets. So we first do one half double crochet. And then one double crochet still in the same space. Now we chain three. Here we find the fourth back bump from the hook and work one slip stitch. Now still in the same space, we do another double crochet and one half double crochet. Then we do one single crochet in each of the next two spaces. So this is one group of the pattern. We will repeat this until the end. Now I do it again. So we do two single crochet in the next two spaces. In the next space, we first do one half double crochet, then still in the same space, one double crochet. Now we chain three, then a slip stitch through the fourth back bump. Here another double crochet, and then one half double crochet, all in the same space. So this is the pattern of the second round of the leaf. When coming to the end, you should have 3 stitches left. You can now pause here to finish until the end. Here we come to the end, we will do one single crochet in each of the last 3 stitches. Finally, we still do a slip stitch through the first space to close this round and chain 1 to secure the end. So this is our small leaf, you can now cut off the yarn and wrap the end. Small leaf done! Large leaves are following a similar pattern here. In this part, we will do our small berry. We find red yarn and start with a double note. Here we will do an invisible double crochet turning chain. Put the hook on the yarn and loop around it clockwise. Yarn over and insert the double circle. Now yarn over and pull through twice. So this is our double crochet turning chain. If it's too difficult, you can still chain 3 as the turning chain. Do not count the turning chain as a stitch. So here, one, two, and three. No matter which way you start, the rest are all the same. From here, we do eight unfinished double crochet. So now it's our first one. That's the same stitch when we do a poof flower. Then our second unfinished double crochet, we will do 8 of them. Now the third, and the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Now we yarn over and pull through all the loops. 
Here, chain one to secure the end and pull the yarn as tight as you can. Finally, we do four chains. And we do a slip stitch through the double circle. Now we can cut off the yarn. Finally, we close the circle. Here we pull through the tail in the double circle and we will notice one of the yarn is moving. We will then pull through the movable yarn to close the circle and then pull through the tail again. So this is our berry. Here we will insert the craft wheel. Finally, we wrap the steam with a green yarn and fix the end. Finally, let's assemble everything. Done!